Hey, I'm Kev KM, welcome back to iRacing and the Skip Barber series as we're around the fabulous Road America circuit. Just over four turns, 14 fantastic turns as well. Actually, just thinking about the left hand at the top of the hill in the middle of the black, that's maybe no white turn. On the one at the bottom of the hill as well before the carousel. Don't really like that left hander either. So, 12 fantastic turns, two all right. Turns has we've got a 10 that race here in these skippies. Don't I say it doesn't really suit the skippies because it's very, very long for these cars. But as you can see with the lap times 235, nine grabbing pole, we did a 238. We were going much quicker on our next lap, but unfortunately, they're not the time to fit it in. So we're down, as you can see, in ninth out of 19 drivers, number 11 car. So aim for at least top 10, maybe top five, because I've tried this race a couple of times previously. It was a bit hectic, and I got taken out of both of them. So, hopefully, fingers crossed, touch wood, third time lucky. So, let's see what we can do here. As I do love racing around, even in the skippies, even though it's a bit underpowered compared to, say, like the F3 car around here, which actually was pretty decent around there. Or the Indy car as well, which definitely does suit the Road America circuit. Of course, the F1 car as well. The track temp is see it in real life. Celsius, 10 laps. Okay, Kev, stay calm, focus. Go, nail it. Bit of a slow reaction. Guy on my left's already got a jump on me. I'm not sure where else he can go. Car on your left. Hold your line. Hold your line. Easy, hold your line. Careful, still there. Still there. Still there. Still there. Clear left. That's why you won that battle. Decent stop. We can build something from here. If we survive this corner, though. What he's doing. Car on your right. Easy. Hold your line. Clear on your right. So it finally made the move, though. It's a good opening lap so far. That's all, no! There's a bump in the middle there which can catch you out on full fuel. All That's right. what did happen to me. All clear on the right. Didn't catch out the guy in front. I'll go behind you, I'll say even worse. Slip stream time. On your left. Still there. Hold your line. Careful, still there. Still there. Just like that to start the race, and so we got the drag. Got well, a bit of a gap in front, unfortunately. Got 
three second gap to make up. And draft is quite strong as you imagine round it. And these cars, look at the guy behind just suck up to my rear. Gonna be making a move though. Doesn't they like it? so I'm just a bit quicker or well, he's just trying to stay behind us so that's up to the cars in front so it might be the former though judging by how quick we're putting away Well, catching up slightly to the cars in front. Much gentler through there, but at least we made it through this time. It's all thirds had a pull of that. should be good now we can start to push a bit well she lost the gap slightly to the front half a second that final sector the car ahead has just done it 236.64 you're a second off the pace in sector 3 yeah Current that's where we lost it Again, very aggressive in front. Could be bad for that top five. I was in there, went side by side in the first couple of corners, that's why. Just getting a couple of seconds out of nowhere. It's his final sector where we need to keep up gaining time. Still lost a couple of tents through the king, so they might be taking it flat out compared to me. Better through Canada corner though. attempt in the final corner but we're right there the leader's just done at 236.45 the lap time was at 236.40 just need a couple more tents and we get that draft
si no llegan todos los hombres, ¿eh? got a very fast guy behind as well so he might close up to us before we close up to the guys in front but I like where I'm sitting at the moment seventh position I suppose I was on off track Say goodbye, guy behind's quick, we just gained half a second. I think he made a, must have made a mistake. And see, everyone's closed up again in front, which is not good. Damn it. No, Kev, track limits, come on. We wanted those two in front to stay a bit separated until we got there, but. So unfortunately that wasn't the case. So we're still just outside that draft range while everyone else is in Draft City. But he's in the battle like a hell. That's what we need. See we're doing 236s flat without draft. So it's so hard we're pushing as well. But these are my best lap times throughout the whole of the week so far. Now the last race I did, I think the best time was at mid 2.36. So we could get into 235s every now with this lap. But even then they're going quicker than us. That's poor. And they are battling. In half a second there. Go comfortably flat through that right now. The combine, we actually got the gap to the guys by, and I guess they're back then. I don't really need to lift there, I don't think. Because now that the fuel's gone down a bit, that bump's not as bad. Pretty kink. A bit sideways on braking. Just need a couple more tents. Let's say. Not the best final corner either, a bit too cautious. Hopefully go a bit hectic. 
that's this lap for Blanco, 235, 134. OK, Kev, that's half distance. Fuel levels are fine. That's your best lap in this session. Told you, even though in the 235s, just got to match their pace. But clinging on, just about. Hopefully they go a bit crazy now that it's the second half of the race. And then we can get into that draft point and pick off the spot, so... That's our only game plan, unfortunately, just keep it, keep with them. As we've got the gap behind up. It's gone a bit cloudy. We've been warned about track limits. So they're going side by side in front. Not going in at all. So they're doing it already. Just into the second half of the race. Now we're in draft range. Second back. The gap behind is now 5.7. We're in rack avoidance mode as well, bloody hell. That's the top three in front. There's an incident in Kink. Looks like it's Lopez. So the leader's got away. Why they battle for a second? Let's see if we can catch up to them. Seems like the guy who was ninth came through on that one. Up into fifth. There's our top five then. Just need to keep this up. Careful. So my nose is running now. Bit of a runny nose, I'm a bit ill at the moment. God damn it. We're tying up the glove when I get on the front stretch. As we're still closing on second though, the battle for second. So we've got the key pace on the guy behind as well. Okay, you don't want to go too wide on that black stuff then.
I hope I don't have to do that again this race. That's cost us like a second. Or half a second at least. The guy behind has just done a 235 or 28. I need to iron slightly. Seems like the guy in the 17 or so has got up to speed. I know he's got a bit of draft, but sticking with us. There's like a good battle behind for fifth. So the battle in front for second. And it's like the leaders finally got away though, got that gap. There's like the sun's come back out as well through those clouds as you can see above. He knows what he cares. There's all the second run ride. We're good in that middle sector. That's one time we've noticed this race. Let's keep battling our head in front. Got a five second gap behind now as they battle. And that's how you close half the gap down. Just out of slipstream range again, no, come on. As we head towards the bottom of the lap of the race. The gap behind is now 4.8. Push harder. Get a podium here. Two I'm trying. I was going to keep dying then, but he's either cause get that bay for the moment. But he did want to speak though.
So we go in final of that. Just not got the pace to catch up. We, we're matching their pace, just not got the pace to catch up. Same with the leader as well. The guy in front has just done a 235.02. That lap was a Oh, come on. We do a four, they do a zero. Come on! Oh, we're just gonna run out of time! God's sake! Podium finish, nice one. Good race, Brian, good race. You know what cost me seconds? Not that worth it, sweeping. Sweeping? <laughs> Weaving at the end. It was the final corner. He was breaking earlier than me into kind of the corner, so I thought I would have to back it up for the final corner. I backed it up way too much though. And you saw it cost me to run out the final corner. If we were just a tenth closer, we could have stolen at, at the line. But third from, where are we, ninth on the grid, setting 235 flats when I've been nowhere near that pace this week. But as you can see, coughing my lungs out, got my runny nose, I do apologise if you've been seeing at the top right. I'll take that result. Very happy with that. See, when you don't crash round there, you do actually get some good races, so... As I say, it's not the best track for the skippies, but it can still be fun. You know, especially with the big drafting opportunities, you can have big packs as you saw in the race. It's just, you've got to be kind of careful racing each other so you saw they were a bit careless at times especially that guy in second if that what caused the guy to crash in the final that don't blame him if he was weaving all over the place like that but i don't think he was from what we we're looking at from our popcorn seats but before i go do you want to see what caused the wrecks in front so this is the first one on lap six uh, as you can see they're battling for four so we've got this guy on the outside and kind of hit each other didn't they like you wouldn't want to maybe move around the outside of the King Guider, but... Well, of course, didn't really leave much room. I'll probably put more on this guy as they are going about it in the chat, but... Yeah, you don't really want to make a move there in the first place. But just back off. you got the sitch stream after the kink. Try and make the move afterwards. Rather than there, like into Canada Corner right here. 
Just like this guy does. See? He could have done that instead. I do love the new damage model. Look, he can drive back with three wheels. Amazing. Oh, three wheels, sorry. And this is why I'm on the final out. So the battle for second. As you can see, he defends the inside. Goes to the guy. Goes to the outside. And just outbreaks himself, basically. Oh, he almost held it. I'm surprised he didn't, to be honest. It's kind of damage. No, it doesn't. Yeah, and it's like he misses out in the top five after that race on battle for seconds. Just that one mistake cost him. What a shame. Actually, just glancing at the finishing because he did finish in fifth. So actually, we keep following him and let's see where he makes a move then to get back this fifth place then as we've got a good battle for fourth going on now. See the yellow car. He was down in ninth at the half A mark. Grabbing fourth. I'm guessing this guy did make the move into Canada Corner then. But yeah, I'm surprised he didn't save it because you can save the car much better now with the rear. I'm not sure what they've done to the tyres, but it's like this, it feels like this, this the angle of the tyre. Like if he just kept the brake and the touch more, he would have just kept going slightly straighter, much slower, but he would have saved the car. Or... He could have got the brake a bit earlier, maybe put got on the power a bit more. As well, look at this ding dong battle. So that's where he gets back up to fifth. Did he try and get fourth? Can't make the move into that left hand. Oh, that's putting the back foot into the final corner. Oh, here we go. This is how you're meant to do it then. Holds it on the outside. Good respectful racing from both, and yeah, he just gets to run out the corner. Oh, fourth, you are lucky, mate. They were back then. That's some good racing there. That's a good example of how you're meant to battle. Hope you enjoyed some more iRacing and the skippies. I always enjoy the skippies. Even if I do get crashed out. But I'll be back with probably WRC. I'm recording this in Kate instead of WRC. Because i got to figure out something with the pace notes on WRC. They, they feel like they're late now compared to... How they were before when they made them a bit earlier, but I don't see any patch updates, so I'm not sure if it's just for Argentina or not. But thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.